You might have seen episode 7 of Squid Game, VIPs. If you did, then the next game will be familiar. Ahead of the players is a bridge with 18 steps, each made of a pair of glass tiles. One of them can hold the weight of a player, while the other can't. Players advanced on the bridge in a predetermined order, one pair of tiles at a time. If they choose a solid tile, they advance, otherwise they are eliminated. What is the expected number of survivors in a 16-player game? You should take some time and consider this question. After that, I'll see you here with the solution. Let's try and understand the limitations of the game better. We have to assume that all players are rational and with perfect memory. This supposition helps us establish that, once a player reveals the correct step in a pair, everyone else will remember it. The correct tile can be discovered either by choosing it or by elimination if the wrong one is selected. Now we look at some possible scenarios under which the game can unfold. For all the players to survive, we need the first one to make all the correct guesses. This adds up to 18 50-50 correct guesses. This scenario has a probability of 1 divided by 2 to the power 18. For 15 players to survive, then only the first one can lose the game. Consider that he gets eliminated on step number i. This means i minus 1 correct guesses, 1 wrong guess. Then the following player will have to make 18 minus i correct guesses. For each value of i, this probability is 1 divided by 2 to the power 18. The most unfortunate case is the one in which no one wins this game. This can happen if every single player makes a wrong choice. Given that there are more steps than players, some players can also make correct guesses before the wrong one, but the number of correct guesses in the entire game must be less than 3. Let's formalize all of this. Let x be a random variable counting the number of survivors. We want to compute the expectation of x and, for this, we need a probability that x takes the value i with i between 1 and 16. From the previous analysis, we know that the probability of x equals 16 is 1 divided by 2 to the power 18, and the probability of x equals 15 is sum of the probability that the first player is eliminated over all possible places where this happens. Each term is 1 divided by 2 to the power 18, and we have 18 possible choices for that tile. Formally, think that the value 18 is 18 choose 1. Now, we can generalize this formula to any number of survivors between 1 and 16. If x equals i, then 16 minus i players were eliminated. This gets us to the probability that x equals i to be 1 divided by 2 to the power 18 times 18 choose 16 minus i, which can be seen as 18 choose i plus 2. For example, the scenario in the series, where there were 3 survivors, has a probability of around 3%. Now, we plug everything into the expectation formula. At this point, you can put this formula in a calculator and get a result, but let's try and break this down further. For this, we will use the following property. To prove this, we employ the binomial formula for x plus 1 to the power of n. We differentiate with respect to x and replace x with 1 in the final formula. Going back to the expectation, we write i as i plus 2 minus 2 
and distribute the two terms. Now, we want to separate everything into two easier to compute parts. To compute A, we first rewrite the sum by replacing i plus 2 with j and then expanding it to the formula we derived earlier and applying it. For B, we apply the same replacement of i plus 2 by j and expand the sum. In the end, we replace a and b in the expectation formula and get that the expectation of x is 7 plus 20 divided by 2 to the power 18. In an interview setting, this would be the end to this question, but with access to a computer, we can use a generalized formula to plot the distribution of survivor probabilities for different numbers of tiles. Alongside this, we can also compute the expected number of winners to this game for different path lengths. In the end, all that remains is to simulate the games to check our results. Hope you enjoyed this 1000 subscriber special and that this video inspires you to see the world through a more mathematical oriented lens. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new to the channel.